Now it's time for a look back at a former NCAA athlete. Here's Christy Heitzman with NCAA Retro. Their training is insane. Lifting and running and spending way too much time in an excessively warm room in way too close proximity to other sweaty men. And they watch their weight and their diet just like a fashion model. So is it any wonder that wrestlers are some of the wackiest people in sport? And is it any wonder that former Missouri wrestler and NCAA All-America Greg Warren is one of the funniest men in America? But that nickname, Flute Man Greg, explain that. I wrestled on the team. I also played the clarinet in the band. It's a bad mix. Guys on the team made fun of me, especially my best friend, Huey Baker. He was a black guy. He's one of those guys who would just get a hold of something and never let you forget it. You know, look at Greg, man. Greg played a flute. It's a clarinet, Huey. It's a flute, Greg. You a flute man. Look at little flute man, Greg. Flute your flute, Greg. Little flute man, Greg. Flute your flute, flute man, Greg. Rooted, tooted, fresh, and fluted, Greg. Greg didn't start out to be a comedian. Like so many college grads, he began in the corporate world. I was working for Procter & Gamble in sales, and I kind of moved up through Procter & Gamble and got transferred to uh, Cincinnati in, um, right around that time, and uh, kept doing stand-up at night, on and off, and then got to do it quite a bit at night, and then uh, realized that I was enjoying stand-up a, a lot more than my job, and uh, I think my job performance started to, to, to suffer. <laughs> When I left P&G, um, I took a huge pay cut, like <laughs> about a 90% pay cut. Uh, my, my father was not terribly uh, thrilled with that decision. Uh, <laughs> but, I, you know, it, it took a long time to build it up, but now that I'm headlining and, you know, I, I've got a little bit of a name and some TV and radio exposure, uh, it's a decent living. I, I would not advise it as a career for, uh, for any of the student athletes out there unless, unless you unless you have a sheer passion for it. I love it. Um, the road can be a little bit tricky at times. It, it, uh, it's, it can be a little bit of a drain, but uh, not near the drain that you know most people have. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very privileged life to be able to do this for a living. Some people have to get up and go to work every day, and I don't. I, I wrestled at Missouri for four years, and it was a very re rewarding four years. And I, I had a pretty good career. I made it to nationals three times in my, my senior year. I, I made All-American. Um, I, I took seventh at, at 158 pounds. Greg is still a big fan of wrestling, doing some TV commentary at collegiate meets and helping out his dad, who still coaches high school wrestling. It provides Greg some material. Coaching's hard, though. Kids ask a lot of questions. Sometimes I think they're asking questions just to be asking questions. Showing a move. All right, guys, you reach up and you grab the guy's arm. Coach, what if when you grab his arm, he moved his arm? <laughs> Kenny, then just grab it again. Coach, what if he move it again? <laughs> just try and grab it, Kenny. Coach, what if he had like a detachable robot arm, and when you grab it, <laughs> it fell off? <laughs> it's not going to have a robot arm, Kenny. Coach, what if he did, Coach? What if he did? Then you would grab his other arm. What if he had two robot arms? <laughs> that technically he would be a robot, Kenny, and there are no robots in the Suburban West Conference that I'm aware of. Coach, what if he was part of a robot desegregation program and he bust him in from another conference? <laughs> then you'd lose, all right, Kenny? You just lose. Coach, you said you never want to hear the word lose, and I know what I said. That was before we were wrestling robots. <laughs> Being an NCAA athlete uh, is a huge part of my preparation for life. I mean, mostly just because there's, there's not one NCAA athlete that doesn't incur a lot of adversity. And you gotta find a way to overcome that adversity. And, you know, it, it's all the cliches. It, it takes a ton of hard work to become, you know, even a mediocre NCAA athlete. Uh, to become a, a champion it takes a crazy amount of hard work. And I think if, if, you, can, if you can direct that uh, towards, towards your life, you're better off. If you have the chance, catch Greg Warren's act at a comedy club near you. He's an NCAA student athlete who definitely went pro in something other than sports.